Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As I was scrolling down the you know articles, pa, 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 I came uh, across this article, the title, and as I was like, what are these guys talking about? What euphemism these guys used for doing something bad? I will show you. Now, use this euphemism the Telegraph uses use it in the Russia-Ukraine context and see if that would be acceptable, okay? Look at this. This is the article from the Telegraph. Israel says it will, quote-unquote, decrease Gaza territory. What does that mean? <laughs> Imagine the Russians will say, we will decrease Ukraine territory. What, what does that mean? That means you're going to conquer, invade another independent sovereign country's territory, right? Well, in Russia, we know exactly what that means. Let's say Putin would say, we decided to decrease Ukraine's territory in half. Everybody will be, eh, decreasing is not that bad. <laughs> my friends, my friends, James Rothwell, what the hell a weasel you are right here. How, I mean, this is pathetic. And people don't look, don't look at it like that. They will just decrease it. You know, uh, how about someone comes and tells you, hey, Gigi, we're going to decrease your size from the neck up. It is going to disappear. We're going to decrease that. OK, I mean, a little bit of uh, decrease. Uh, it's OK, I guess. My, my, my. Let's see how these guys are decreasing it. Israel will shrink. <laughs> OK, um, why don't you substitute Israel with Russia? Russia will shrink Ukraine. The country's foreign minister, which is uh, uh, Lavrov, has said, raising fears part of, the, part of the territory will be annexed and reoccupied at the end of the war with Hamas. Oh, how about that? Israel will shrink Gaza Strip. What does that mean? Exactly what they say here. And, and raising fears parts of the territory will be annexed. Of course, they will probably make, create a buffer zone. That's what they will do, exactly like the Russians do in Ukraine. <laughs> they will shrink. Shrink, and what was the other one? Decrease. <laughs> you can make shit up, man. Speaking to Israel's army radio on Wednesday, Eli Cohen vowed to eliminate Hamas from Gaza and then predicted a decrease in Gazan territory. <laughs> and I'm quoting, at the end of the war, of this war, not only will Hamas no longer be in Gaza, but the territory of Gaza will also decrease. Beautiful euphemism, don't you think? It was unclear whether Mr. Cohen meant that a buffer zone, oh, okay, would be placed around the Hamas-controlled enclave, or that Israel intended to absorb parts of the densely populated territory of 2.3 million people completely in his territory. No, this is what's gonna be. Oh, they say here, they're going to make a larger buffer zone around Gaza Strip to protect Israeli living. That's what's going to be a so-called demilitarized buffer zone without any civilian infrastructure within it. Maybe what Mr. Cohen had in mind when claimed Raza's territory will decrease. All right, well, that's interesting. But let me show you something. And I'm 100% I'm, I'm you will not agree with that. All right, let me just open it for you. Ready? Set and go. You see, this, this is Ukraine right here. And uh, of course, this is where the Russians are. The Russians said that if the Americans will provide the Ukrainians with, let's say, uh, missile, so called defense missile systems, uh, defense you can use them on, in offense, it's not a big deal, okay? But anyway, with missiles that can, that have a radius or let's say a uh, range, the longer the range, they said the bigger the buffer zone will be created. So let's say the, the Russians will get and occupy all this. You see, well, this gray area is right here. That should be occupied. It should. Well, there's a goal of the Russians. This will be occupied, occupied, occupied. Okay, when they're going to occupy maybe more, right? This would be coming, becoming Russian Federation over here somewhere, okay? I don't know if they want Kharkiv as well or not. It seems like because since they're in it. So let's say they're going to conquer this. Um, or uh, what was the word again? they will uh, decrease the Ukrainian territory with this. And then all of a sudden they say, well, if you have um, missiles that can hit targets at 300 kilometers, we, the Russians, will have to push you back 300 kilometers to the west 
so you cannot hit our country so all this area if they have 500 kilometers they're gonna push them here to Poland and so on so this is what this guy says here when he says that uh, that the militarized demilitarized buffer zone without any civilian infrastructure so that's exactly what these guys will do for between russia and territory which probably is going to be right here the border to whatever let's say kiev this would be no civilian infrastructure it means everybody will be taken up and ethnically cleansed sent into ukraine which is going to be as i said in the west i didn't mean that but because this is garbage you have to work with it so you send it over here and this part right here is gonna be just steps and nothing just rivers and uh, cuckoo birds and something like that well if we use that here in this article why not here well you know why because some people um, lose objectivity and justice when uh, they talk about certain things uh, like for instance uh, if um, one of my relatives commits a crime i would say well that's not a crime but if one of your relatives commits the same crime i would say that's the crime well the same i mean it's obvious so yeah we'll decrease gazan territory now gaza is also, also already small how much are you gonna decrease it and you got 2.3 million uh, palestinians living in gaza how are you gonna decrease this de decrease it more are you gonna have them stand one on top of the other uh, how are you gonna do it are gonna build skyscrapers or something i guess not so i tell you what the plan is the plan is to create such a a unlivable conditions in gaza that the gazans the palestinians somehow would just decide to leave somewhere and these guys are pressuring egypt to accept uh refugees and lebanon to accept refugees and this guy said no we're not buying that fuck off and then they will say, well, we don't have 2.3 uh, Gaza, uh, Gaza uh, Palestinians over there. We have 200,000 uh, Palestinians. Oh, well, they're going to be like, hey, hey, where are you? Oh, we're so alone here. Why are you so alone now? So they can afford doing that. 200,000 people versus 2.3 million. I think it's a really, <clears throat> you know, 10 times more pop the population. What do you want? So you can afford doing that. So either push them out or the other suggestion would be... You know what they're thinking, right? Punishing uh, Hamas. And by punishing Hamas, meaning... Are they all gone? Not yet. All gone? No. That's what I mean. And they said it. Remember when they said they're going to flatten that? It's going to be a city of tents. Not even tents. Would be nobody, not, nothing, nobody. And they will say, well, they left. They just left. They just migrated. A new migration, my friends because what that's what they do they migrate if you create a, a situation so bad in one location what do you expect them to do don't give them water don't give them food and the other thing is like this what do you mean you don't give them water you are in charge are these guys in a cage and you are the warden you are the security guard you're the guy in charge and you tell me that them palestinians are free people when you as a country dictate who comes in and who goes out that's a, that's a prison i mean a prison is where you as a human being cannot get in or get out and you depend on someone else to provide you food electricity fuel water and they they, they decide when you see the doctor if you have a problem you can't see it just the way that you want and if someone wants to give you money wants to give you some food or send you a postcard that goes and is decided by someone else if you that reaches to you what is this well you know what it is i mean just 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 how can you just lock it if you have control over locking a country that means you're in control of it i mean how dumb can we be to say no 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 anyway so uh gaza territory will decrease okay will be what was the other one uh decrease and the other one would be shrinking we shrink like you know when you go and swim in a cold water it shrinks so that kind of shrinking but when uh, the water is warm bang <laughs> thank you very much for being with me again today i don't think it's gonna come any uh, warm water over over gaza pretty soon so i think it's gonna be only cold water cold 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 until it just goes in flat stay strong stay smart Look for the truth.
and be just.